Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a whole house clean with me. I have so much cleaning motivation in store for you guys today. I hope it helps you get motivated to tackle something on your list. If you like cleaning motivation, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video is packed with so much cleaning motivation. I'm first starting out in my bedroom doing my laundry. I had so much laundry to tackle. I don't get it. I, no matter how many laundry routines I have, I am always trying to revamp them. And when I have busy weeks, just like everybody else, I get backed up too. So that is what I was doing on this day. I had a couple of baskets of laundry that I needed to put away. And I had a few baskets that I had to fold as well. So we're gonna start out with some laundry motivation. So I hope this gives you some motivation to fold your laundry as well. Make sure you put this video up on your phone or on your tablet, your TV, and let's get cleaning. So today's video is not only special because it is a whole house clean with me and I haven't done one in forever, but it is super special because it is in collaboration with somebody that has grown to be one of my good friends on YouTube and that is Kristen Casper. I have been following Kristen for a few years now and her and I connected and we just had kind of like instant friendship and I'm so grateful for her. So Kristen shares a lot of motherhood lifestyle content on her channel, just like I do. And she has been on YouTube for a few years. So I am sure you guys know who she is. If you don't, then make sure you go check her out, subscribe to her channel. You are gonna love her motivation. I'm gonna leave links to her video and also to her channel down in my description box below. I know she is premiering her video and she doesn't have comments. So make sure you either go watch her when she's on her premiere or go find her on Instagram and let her know that I sent you. Cause like I said, if you don't know who she is, then you are in for a true treat. You're gonna love the motivation that she puts out. We are going to just next continue to clean in my bedroom. And I just wanted to say, if you're coming over from Kristen's channel, I'm Brittany, I am a full-time work from the home mom. I do have a full-time job besides YouTube and I work from home most of the time. I absolutely love it. And I share a lot of motherhood lifestyle content on my channel as well. I mostly gear it around towards like decluttering and organizing and cleaning and some cooking. So if you guys like that motivation and that content, I would absolutely be honored if you would hit that red subscribe button and join my YouTube family. Also, if you like cleaning motivation, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that I know to make more videos like this. Just listen, I miss you. And I know that I said all these things, but now when you're with her, I can see that, that you miss me. We got everything we need right here. So I tend to clean our bed sheets at least once a week. Usually on the weekend, it is on like either Saturday or Sunday or whenever I do my whole house clean. I always say that I would absolutely love to have a cleaning routine where I like split up my cleaning during the week, but it always happens that it falls on a particular day, like Friday after work or Saturday during the day or Sunday during the day and I never spread my cleaning out. I just get so busy during the week and I just find that I don't have time. So let me know 
what you guys do. Do you just clean your whole house at one time or do you split it up during the week? I also kind of like having it done all at once because with kids, your house never stays clean more than I don't know, maybe a few hours if you're lucky. And so it is really satisfying to clean my house like Friday after work and go to bed with it clean just to kind of see it all clean because I know that it's not gonna stay that way for long. So let me know down below what you guys do. The next thing that I was doing was just rearranging some of the things in my room. I ended up moving one of the plants that I had on my other dresser over to this dresser. I actually had all of those plants downstairs, but when I did my Christmas decor, I took some of the plants and put them in my bedroom, and I kind of left them in there because I like them. So we'll see if they end up staying there. The next thing that I did was go into my office and I still needed to unpack my bag from going into the office that week and just get everything put back. I really love to do an office reset on a Friday so that come Monday morning I am ready to go and I don't have to like organize anything. I also like to sit down on a Sunday night and do all my planning and pre-plan everything out so that I'm ready to go. So there is a tip for you guys if you don't currently do that. I absolutely love on a Sunday, some point on a Sunday to sit down and make sure that I look at my schedule for the week ahead. So if you're new to my channel, you wouldn't know, but we did a renovation to, not a renovation, but like a redo of my office back in May of 2020. And I absolutely love how it turned out. When we first had it last year, it was still the colors of the nursery, which were like green and yellow. And so when we got it painted gray and then the back wall, I get questions so many times if it is wallpaper, it is not. It's all paint in my office and it really wasn't that hard to do. So definitely go back and check out that video if you're looking for a fun way to change up a room because it was very inexpensive and we just love how it turned out and it's kind of like the backdrop behind my desk. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is move into my boys' room and just get their room picked up. I always usually tend to go through their drawers like once a week to reorganize and refold their clothes. I just like them a certain way. And they're slowly getting used to it and keeping it the way that I want it, but I still go in and reorganize it, especially when I'm putting clothes away. So I'm also gonna get the clothes away, put away. And then earlier in the day, my oldest had stripped his bed and his brothers and we put sheets on but I was still waiting for one of the blankets to dry so I'm gonna get that put back on Caleb's bed too and we're gonna get their room reset. So my favorite thing to do when I'm cleaning is to catch up on my YouTube friends. I think during this clip when you saw a video playing on my phone that it was Danielle Nichols. She was off YouTube for a little while and she's back. Actually Kristen and her are best friends and I love the content that Danielle shares. She is just unapologetically herself and she is awesome so make sure you go check her out if you don't know who she is she does a lot of vlogging and i just love the vibe that she has and um the content that she shares on youtube too so we're gonna get the boys room vacuumed and then we're going to move into the bathroom so let me know down below in the comment section what is your least favorite chore so when i hear people say their least favorite chore it's usually either laundry doing the dishes or cleaning the bathroom. And I think probably my least favorite would be scrubbing toilets. Even growing up, I just hated to do it and my sister did them and I volunteered to always clean the sinks. We have more sinks in our house than toilets. 
and I did not care. I did not want to clean the toilets. And now being a boy mom, if you know, you know, and the struggle is real. So I often have to clean my toilets multiple times a week. If you're a boy mom, let me know if it's the same for you. So as we are finishing up upstairs, I'm gonna show you guys how everything turned out and what the rooms look like because we were getting ready to put the boys to bed. So I was going to move downstairs and tackle our main living area. So look how peaceful this is though. It's nighttime and it's just so nice. And when I was finished cleaning that night, I took a bubble bath and then I went and laid in bed. And I use a heated blanket in the winter time and so I turned my heated blanket on while I was in the tub and it was so nice to just take a relaxing bath in a fresh clean house in a clean tub and then hop into warm fresh bed sheets. You guys, I don't think there is anything better. But I am actually in the market for a new book. I haven't really been that into watching TV series lately. I've tried to start Briggington, I think it's called, a couple of times, and I'm sure I would love it, but I go through phases of where I either like to read, or I really like to watch YouTube, or I really like to watch TV series, and so right now, I really like to watch, read books. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's just because it's like the beginning of the year, and doing like new things and new routines, and just getting back into doing things. So let me know down below if you have a good book recommendation. I am currently reading Untamed. And although I have a book recommendation for you guys, if you've never read Where the Crawl Dad Sing, it is absolutely phenomenal. I actually listened to that on Audible in the beginning of the pandemic back in April when I was running. So I took up running for a little while and I was going on daily runs and I would listen to my Audible books and I absolutely loved that book, so hands down, really good. I'm also right now listening to the newest Rachel Hollis book through Audible. So usually when I'm in the car or cleaning and have like my headphones in, then I'll listen to Audible books. So moving into my kitchen, I am just getting everything reset. I emptied the dishwasher, reloaded the dishwasher. I'm gonna hand wash some dishes and then I just love to scrub out my sink. Now this is like a normal evening routine for me. I do clean like this every night. I love to go to bed with a reset kitchen and a reset first floor and I just feel like it helps put me in a better mood in the morning when I wake up and I'm not coming down to a sink full of dishes. So in the morning when I get up, my routine is to come downstairs and when I make myself coffee while it's brewing, I empty the dishwasher and then I run downstairs and I start my little laundry. Actually, sometimes I load my laundry the night before and my laundry machine has this really cool feature, so they definitely do the delayed setting start, but it also has what's called a remote start, so I can load my washer, put all of the detergent in, and then set it and hit remote start, and in the morning, I can start it from my app, and our laundry room is in our basement, so it's seriously a time saver, especially if I'm like on the way to drop my kids off at school and I forgot to start it, I can just pull up the app and start it and it's so easy. And then the app on my phone goes off when the washer is done, so then I know to change it into the dryer. And then when it's done in the dryer, it'll let me know so I know to take it out and fold it. So it does really help that I have that new washer and dryer. We actually got it last year 
So we've had it for, I think we got it in May of last year. And the reason we got it was because our old set broke. And so we needed a new set and I just absolutely love this. I'm so glad that we spent the extra money and went with the LG Turbo Wash, I think it is called, because we just absolutely love it. So another thing that I like to do when I'm in my kitchen is watch Netflix on my Alexa Echo Show. And this particular night I was watching Fuller House. I still have yet to finish that series, you guys. I love that I can just put it on in the background and continue to do stuff. It's usually either something like that or like reruns of Grey's Anatomy because it's literally my favorite show and I absolutely love it. So I probably should start This Is Us. I hear a lot of really good things about that show, but I have yet to watch that. I've watched a lot of series on Netflix and we actually got rid of cable about a year ago now and we don't miss it at all. So I tend to catch everything on the replay. So I still do watch a couple of things that are on TV now. I know that tonight 911 is starting back up and I absolutely love that series so if i can't catch it live which is very rare then i just watch it like the next day or sometime that week and then i just catch up on the episodes so that is one of my favorite shows so i love Grey's anatomy and then i love 911 as well so we're just going to continue to do a little bit more like deep cleaning in my kitchen wiping down all the appliances i had a little bit of extra time since this was a friday night and we weren't doing anything so i really wanted to take the extra time to get all of this done just so that i didn't have to clean the rest of the weekend So my grandmother got me eco cloths and e cloths. Yeah, eco cloths, the same thing. So I absolutely love them. I used Norwex cloths back in the day, like a few years ago, and I still have some, but I haven't used that type of cloth with just water in forever. And so during this video, that is literally all I used was e cloths. I didn't use any product. I still tend to use the Clorox wipes on my toilet just because I like something that I can throw away but I used eco cloths and the shining cloth and I absolutely love how they clean I think it got everything really clean and it actually took less time so I wasn't like spraying things and moving things around and looking for the spray bottle I absolutely love it so if you currently use like e cloths or a system like that let me know if you love them because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go back. So another thing that I wanted to tell you guys was that I kind of redid my coffee bar. I added some of those new flavorings and I also wanted to tell you that I can't remember a few of my subscribers recommended using an extension cord for my coffee pot since it, the plug is up higher on the wall back when I did my hot chocolate bar this year and I just never got around to it and so I found this white extension cord when I was cleaning on this night and decided to try it and I actually like it I think that it blends in a lot better so let me know if you like how that turned out
So the last thing that I needed to do was to clean my downstairs powder room and then I'm going to vacuum and mop my first floor. And then once I do that, I'm gonna give you guys a walkthrough of what everything looked like. But again, I was so glad that I did this. I didn't finish until probably like nine o'clock at night. My house probably takes me about four-ish hours from start to finish to clean and that really doesn't include like laundry, like folding laundry, putting it away. Normally, um, I was able to do it in this day, but it does take usually like a good four hours to clean my house. So that is why I like to do it like on one day and just get it all done. Or like maybe I'll do two hours on a Friday night and then I'll do two hours on like Saturday morning just so that I'm not cleaning all day on Saturday. Another thing we did go back to doing too is placing our grocery order and picking it up at our local giant just because it is such a time saver and it helps me stick to my budget because I'm not in the store and grabbing things off the shelf. So I am gonna be sharing all that in my video coming up on Sunday, my get it all done video. That grocery haul is gonna be in there. I'm gonna share my meal plan with you guys and everything that I was doing to prepare for this week. And then on this Thursday, you guys are gonna see another decluttering video. I've been doing a lot of decluttering and organizing videos, and I know that you guys have been absolutely loving them. So let me know if there's a specific space in my house that you would love to see decluttered and organized. So that is going to be it for this cleaning video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you're new, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button before you go. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And definitely don't forget to go check out the links and go watch Kristen's video. Give it a thumbs up and let her know that they sent you because you guys are absolutely going to love her. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys have an amazing week and we will see you guys in our next one. Bye. Smile that makes the sun rise